If trail mix could drink, what would it drink? Nut tea. <laughs> I didn't want to tell that one first because I thought it was a little cheeky. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> what up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. So as you can tell from the lame jokes today, the emphasis on today's video is going to be on trail mix. But not just any trail mix, we are doing some copycat recipes. So the idea came to me because I've been on my travel flow a lot recently and I was starving in the airport, so I went to this little convenience store and I wanted to buy some trail mix. And it said one bag for $7 or two bags for I think it was like $12. And I was like, dang, this is crazy. I can just make this at home. So we're gonna make that at home. I bought the package and I devoured it anyway, you know, for research purposes, plus I was still hungry. And I thought to myself, why don't we try to create some of these common travel snacks? So today we are going to recreate this protein power mix and also one of my favorite snacks, wasabi covered almonds. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here is the snack that we are going to recreate today. This one was the most unique at the airport, so I grabbed it. This was the protein power mix. I chose this snack because of this guy right here. This is the edamame. This is why they call this a protein power mix. So one cup of edamame is equal to about 19 grams of protein. So it's a great plant source to add to your diet. Be a little bit trickier to recreate because it looks like these have been dehydrated and not roasted. And when you crunch them, when you eat them, it's got that crunch just like a dehydrated. But we can still make some crispy edamame by baking it, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add in some frozen edamame. This has been sitting at room temperature for a couple hours now, but it's still pretty cold and pretty icy. So I'm gonna run this under some um, hot water or some lukewarm water to thaw it out. And once it's thawed out, you're going to put it onto a paper towel, spread them out as much as possible, and then pat them dry. If this is easier to do by wrapping this up in a towel, you can do that as well. But the most important thing here is just that they are completely dry. So for me, I usually will let these rest here on the paper towel for a few hours. You can do this over at room temperature or you can do them in the fridge, but just make sure that these are completely dry. That's the most important thing. They will not get crispy and dry out if they are still wet. Once it's completely dried out, we're going to add them to a bowl add in a little bit of oil and a pinch of some sea salt. Toss in the coat and add it to a baking tray lined with parchment. You're gonna spread it out in the pan, just one single layer. Then we're gonna bake this in the oven for about 30 minutes at 375. So for the other parts of this mix, they've got some peanuts here, but roasted cashews or, or roasted peanuts and cranberry, those are things that you can easily buy. What we may not be able to find, we've got some roasted pumpkin seeds. And those, we can roast ourselves. Take some raw pumpkin seeds, add them to a baking tray, spread them out, lightly spray with a little bit of oil, then add in a pinch of sea salt. Mix it up here in the tray. Pumpkin seeds don't take that long to cook, so we're gonna roast this in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes at 350. Now, let's bring everything together. Add in the edamame some roasted pumpkin seed, peanuts. They had a lot of peanuts in there. I'm gonna go with the roasted cashews and a hint of sweetness with some dried cranberry. Mix everything together. Wow. And the good thing about making it yourself too is that you can set your own level of sodium. You don't have to over season it. And if you are gonna buy the roasted peanuts or the roasted cashews, always get the unsalted version or some just raw nuts. That way you can determine how much uh, spice or seasoning or heat or whatever it is you want in your trail mix. Okay, so for the next snack, we've got one of my personal favorites and that is wasabi covered almonds. Crack open an egg and remove the egg white. Add in a splash of water and we're just gonna beat this together until peaks form. For sure your forearms are gonna be burning. That's about good enough. I'm gonna add some almonds to a bowl. These are raw, unsalted almonds. And pour this over the almond. Yeah, almost like cream. Toss the almonds and the egg white. And this is why you wanna get a great mix because you don't want them watery. You just want to coat it in the foam. Perfect. Now, add the almonds to a baking tray lined with some parchment paper and spread these all out on the pan. Give it lots of breathing room. 
We're gonna mix some wasabi powder with a little bit of arrowroot. If you don't have arrowroot, you can absolutely use some cornstarch or some tapioca flour. Give this a good mix. And then sprinkle this over the almonds. Then just gently toss the almonds in the coating. Then spread it back out. Then we're gonna bake this in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 and we're gonna shake the pan halfway through. And after 30 minutes, here we go. It's important to let this cool down in the pan for at least 20 minutes before we start handling it. Okay, so now that they're cool, you may see things like this, where the almonds have baked together and they create clumps. That's because of the egg white and the arrowroot. So it, it gives it a nice crispy coating and then the wasabi and the salt sticks to this. So what you just do is just easily break those apart. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Two final notes on this recipe is that first, you've got to always remember that whenever you are roasting nuts, you wanna shake the pan about halfway through. That way one side of the nut doesn't get super burnt and the other side is really nice and golden. You wanna shake that pan to prevent that. And then the second thing is that whenever you are roasting and trying to get some edamame, it may not come out the first time. So as the adage says, when you first don't succeed, try again. And when you don't succeed that time, try one more time, or just go down to the local grocery store and buy yourself some trail mix. Like, stop playing around and wasting groceries. <laughs> but I know that you are going to love this recipe, guys. It's a super simple one. And again, you know exactly what you're gonna put into your body because you made it. And the sense of accomplishment that you will feel from putting together something that you could buy in the store, that you buy so often in the store, that feeling is incredible, all right? If you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below. And remember guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by ringing that bell, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here on the channel. Whether you are traveling, whether you're away at college and need some snacks, or if you are at home watching March Madness and you are trying to get your snack game on, make this recipe, but always remember this. Keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, bye guys.